Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I gotta like that. Always have my own bag, never need hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about sweet perfumes for spring and summer date night edition but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is i have 10 perfumes here that are perfect actually a lot of them are perfect for all season but especially for spring and summer i feel like these perfumes are going to be truly amazing for date night so i'm going to start with a perfume that no one in my family loves it but i love it this is why it's important to buy perfumes for yourself to wear perfumes for yourself and i'm talking about scherzo by mila aris now when I got this perfume, I was blown away. I actually stopped a lady that was wearing it near Harrods and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this perfume. I went and smelled it and immediately I purchased it and I do not regret it. Yes, husband, I do not regret <laughs> buying skirts. So my husband doesn't like this, but again, I wear perfumes for me. Compliments are incredible, especially from him. But there's something about this perfume that I can't get over. Now, this is a sweet oud. This is not like a juicy, um, super, super stickily sweet oud. It's more of a drier oud. It's giving very strong woodiness, but the sweetness is definitely there, more so in the dry down. The opening is a little bit sharp. It could be a little bit challenging for someone who hasn't really smelt oud like that or doesn't like a very strong oudy scent but i absolutely love this it's very long lasting it's perfect for all year round it's fantastic for date nights <laughs> and i say that because i've worn this on a date night and my husband he didn't compliment me but he didn't particularly say what are you wearing go and change it it would have been too late anyway because i sprayed this on and i, and I got compliments wearing skirts so by mila aris lost cherry by tom ford you cannot do for me i cannot do date night without wearing lost cherry this is a sweet boozy cherry perfume this is the mother of all cherry perfumes in my opinion there's so many perfumes that have cherry in them that have come and gone some are still around but for me i still keep going back to lost cherry it's just so different to a lot of those perfumes i definitely love it i hate the price i feel like this brand tom ford you need to calm down you need to calm down but the reason i got a big bottle this is 100 mil is because first i got it on sale i got like a 10 or 15 percent discount which doesn't seem like a lot but if you know how much this perfume cost it's a lot and i got a good discount i got 100 mil because the longevity on this is not amazing it's better over time because this has been in my collection for a while it's macerated i get a lot of booziness from this perfume that i really love now lost cherry is one of those perfumes you can wear all year round don't run out and buy this if you've not smelled this before which i don't know who hasn't smelled lost cherry before <laughs> except for babies and kids but then you never know their parents might wear lost cherry but i feel like it's such a popular perfume it's been around for a while and people still speak about it to this day for a reason i love it i will recommend it a hundred times over for date night so once again that is lost cherry by tom ford next we have strict nina by vicanto now somebody reached out to me i want to say about a month ago asking why i've not reviewed this perfume why have i decluttered this perfume oh, by the way i am gonna have a declutter coming very soon because i actually rearranged some of my perfumes and i realized i've not reached for so many perfumes in so long and it made me wonder why i still have them in my collection so i'm definitely going to do a declutter maybe in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that now i still have this perfume and yes i still love it and no i'm never ever going to declutter this perfume now this to me is a tropical passion fruit sweet and fruity perfume that has an amazing longevity i'm talking a whole day you are going to smell yourself people are going to smell you it is perfect for date nights on the beach it's perfect for date nights in the park you can go dinner wearing this perfume i think it's so so beautiful but one thing i will say is when i go on dates and it's to a restaurant i tend not to overspray my perfumes because sometimes if your perfume is too strong it can really mess with your nose when the food arrives because for me I want to smell the food. I want like, I feel like the pleasure of eating. 
pleasure. I feel like it comes from the smell of the food, like when it's presented to you and it's hot and you just kind of smell the aroma. I don't really want that mixing with my perfume. So if you do go on a date night, I go heavier on the lotions and the and the oils and then I just spray perfumes, not too much. I still spray down, trust me, but I don't over spray when I go on date nights. That is like a dinner based sort of date nights. But on other kind of dates, I definitely would wear this spray down head to toe, literally head to toe. And it lasts me such a long time. It's a compliment magnet. It's a beautiful perfume. I highly recommend it. Next, we have a brand new bottle of Vanilla 28 by Kayali. You guys know I've been bringing out the empty 100 ml bottle of my Vanilla 28 because I love this perfume. I wear this perfume almost every day. I layer this perfume with everything. I wear it to bed. I wear, I wear it everywhere. It smells so good it's a vanilla brown sugar super sweet and addictive perfume this is not a boring vanilla this is not giving you vanilla sex by tom ford that perfume oh it's a no for me but anyhow vanilla 28 is so amazing kiali have a new release out which i'm just waiting for i think it's dropping on the 4th of may yes best believe i'm going to blind buy it because i think it's called vanilla rock sugar 40 2 or 48 i'll leave a picture on the screen as usual um i think that perfume literally screens me and i feel like i'm gonna get 100 ml of that because i i just know already that i'm going to love it anyway let me not speak too soon but i'm definitely gonna buy the perfume i'm going to review it honestly as i always do but anyway back to vanilla 28 you guys already know this perfume it's probably one of the most popular perfumes on social media for in the last two to three years like i don't know anyone that does not have vanilla 28 in their collection it's just simply likable it's easy to wear you don't have to think about it and it's also perfect for all year round so that is once again vanilla 28 by kayali next we have a baccarat rouge 540 v x straight now i love baccarat rouge 540 the dna is everything i still see people go for this perfume and say that it's so um, come on and all of these things that people say it just irritates me if, even if it's popular does it take away the fact that the perfume is good or the perfume is popular for a reason because it's mass appealing a lot of people seem to like this perfume and this is one of my most complimented perfume ever doesn't matter where i go people stop me to ask me when i'm wearing baccarat rouge 540 the extra especially i feel like the original one smells a lot more generic just because it's been cloned time and time and time again but the almond in this perfume makes it a little bit different to the original baccarat rich 540 it does not project as well doesn't project but this lasts for, for a very very long time it smells so addictive so sweet i will always buy this one but i will be honest once my baccarat rich 540 is done I won't repurchase that, but I will repurchase the extra version because it just a lot more, it just smells a lot more refined. It's definitely different to my nose anyway, and it layers with everything, literally. It layers really well with a lot of perfumes in my collection. I will always recommend this perfume. I really love it. I don't feel like any clones has quite done it in this way, in my humble opinion. So that is Baccarat Rouge 540, the extra. The next perfume is Pink Me Up by Atelier des Ors. Like, just peep this bottle, guys. I will always repurchase this very expensive perfume. For me, it was the bottle that did it because I think I blind, no, no, I didn't blind buy this actually. I think I smelt it before by, I don't know. But I feel like Atelier des Ors do superb bottles. Like, this is very heavy, heavy cap, great quality bottles now this perfume is a sweet fruity rosy champagne scent that smells so stunning it is super addictive however longevity is questionable <laughs> it is questionable you got to go in with this perfume when you spray this you have to spray a lot in order to have it last longer project a little bit further but don't expect like a beast mode scent and i find that a lot of expensive perfumes don't have that beast mode vibe in my opinion i feel like they will last long but they're not punching you in the face they are giving you refined quiet luxury in a sense and i really love it do you guys want to see a quiet luxury perfume video 
comment down below if you do and i will happily do that video for you so that is pink me up by atelier des Oz. the next perfume is so special because it was a birthday gift from coco pebs to me and this is a pear now this perfume i've not worn it a whole lot but best believe i sniff it every single day i think i've told you guys several times that i will go into my perfume cabinet and i will sniff my perfumes like it's just something it's just something that i do on a daily basis it just brings me a sort of joy you know there's some people that love going to the gym like they love to work out and it makes them super happy <laughs> it's not me that that ain't me one day it shall be me because i am going to join the gym again but anyhow we'll talk about that in the vlog that's going to be coming up this time next week <laughs> wish me luck because the vlog is long guys i have been out i have been going out i met up with josephine um from judah rose the channel the youtube channel i've met up with my babe coco pebs i have been out and i've been loving every moment of it so i'm gonna compile everything together and make it into a vlog and bring it to you but anyway back to a pair this to me is a very fruity um green apple pear and caramel it is so it's so me it's so me if you're looking for the ultimate fruity perfume that smells sweet and not cloying it's super smooth to the nose it's a compliment getter it's a feel good type of perfume check out a pear i really enjoy this perfume longevity i want to say is about average you're getting maybe five to six hours which is perfect for me i don't need it to be a complete beast mode i can't carry a decant with me and re reapply as i wish but I feel like this would be so, so good on a date night, especially a first date, because it's not too much. I think when people go on first dates these days, from things that I've heard, it's like people want to wear the oud for greatness, the Bakra Rouge 540, mix it with Oriana, mix with, like, chill. First date, take it easy, because some people are not into perfumes like that. Don't intimidate people with your scent you know ease them into it so i would definitely recommend this for like a first date or a cinema date or a day at home just a nice easy date night in the spring and summer this is absolutely perfect the next perfume on my list is devotion by dolce and gabbana i will always rave about this come spring come summer come fall come winter this perfume is perfect for all year round this is a lemon candied cakey kind of scent it puts me in the mindset of bake by acro it also reminds me of lira by zerzhov but it's more affordable and i love it for that reason longevity on this is literally 10 hours on my skin perfumes are subjective so it may last two hours on you and 10 hours on somebody else it just depends on our routine body chemistry and all of that jazz but devotion i'm so devoted to this this is so amazing in my opinion i feel like this is not like a unisex scent <laughs> definitely not this to me is a a strong womanly perfume for someone who just wants to flirt you just want to flirt and you just want to have like your nice cocktail and talk to people you're outgoing your personality is just so infectious and you smell like this perfume right here so this is dolce and gabbana's devotion so the next perfume on my list is johnny by sora dora first of all this is a must have now this is a gourmand and i know a lot of fragrance reviewers may not reach for this for this time of the year but i would i live in london we get very dodgy weather all the time it's not always everyone's spring is different from ours so i would wear this all year round in the uk now i feel like this is perfect for date night because it's like a sweet and savory type of scent you have a nuttiness that comes in the mid and also in the dry down you get some caramel this has everything gourmand but it's not heavy they've made this to perfection now don't overspray this the other day i was wearing this perfume and i always go and i overspray the way I was coughing, almost like, you know, when you've eaten nuts and it gets stuck in your throat and you cough, that's what I got. So don't overspray this. Spray it gradually. Leave it for a bit. If you want to spray again, just, you know, let the room breathe a bit. Open your windows, spray it again, and then you can just like be done with it. You don't need that much spray, to be honest. I'm just kind of extra. And that's what I do. People ask me how many sprays I use in perfumes, how many sprays. I don't count. It's so weird to be here doing one, two, three, four, five, just to tell you guys how many sprays I do. I just spray from head to toe. I spray my pulse points. I spray the back of my knee. I spray my bum. Yes, I do. I spray my bum. Don't you guys spray your bum? Because if you if you spray around your bottom, 
and you get up someone sat next to you they would smell the aroma <laughs> anyway that's just my take on it but johnny is absolutely amazing but you have to like a sweet and savory gourmand type of scent and last but not least is carolina herrera good girl blush now this perfume is a fruity floral more on the floral side i would actually describe this as a floral sweet perfume i love the vanilla in here this has a note of peony which is one of my favorite floral notes it's got some bitter almond it's got your lang lang so you do get some freshness you get you get some sweetness this is not overly sweet to be quite honest but i feel like it's balanced really well with the citruses the sweetness and the floralness and and the longevity on this perfume shocked me i actually didn't think this would be long lasting because like look at it i didn't think it was going to be long lasting because sometimes i do judge a perfume by its packaging but this definitely fooled me this is a very very long lasting perfume on my skin anyway they have an extra version of it which i have a small bottle of let me actually show you sophia sophia can i get a small carina error the small one i got you oh sorry can i get a small carina error perfume a tiny one thank you it's so sweet mm, it's nice oh it's pretty as well oh it's not so good thank you so I've got the tiny little, I think this is like 7.5 mil. Um, and I'm definitely going to get a bigger bottle. Is there much of a difference? Absolutely. I find this one to be a little bit sweeter. Let me know if you want to see a comparison video. <laughs> Let me know, comment it down below. But honestly, Good Girl Blush is so amazing. The only um, Good Girl that I don't like is the original. I feel like all the flankers that came after it are way better than the original, which is what normally happens with a lot of designer perfumes but anyhow good girl blush is amazing so my lovelies because this list is a top 10 i always like to round it up to my top three so here we go my top three are really hard um a pair Jani, strict nina and that was so hard i love them all so much like i feel like the differences in the love is very very small so you can get any of this perfume so my lovelies that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching comment down below your top three it could be out of my list it could be out of your own personal collection comment it all down below thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye